team. The sky sure looks great, doesn't it? All the stars and solar systems and all that stuff. Even the moon looks nice. I am did I indeed did this. I am building on this mountain, which I shall name for it Death Mountain. My guild has now changed. I am now part of my guild, which is the Angels of Death on Death Mountain. That guy down there, I'll stand there with, with all my supplies and everything. He came in and pretty much placed his insignia and tried taking all my stuff. I managed to get most of my stuff back. I lost a smelter, but that was about it. His name is, I believe, is Hans Dingo. So, do a shout out for him. He kind of slowed my progress on this house and everything. But I built on top of the Death Mountain. It's a cliff. It's very treacherous. I mean, you try to say I already died twice on this mountain. The same mountain I told you guys about from last videos about falling and dying. I built a stairway, as you, as you can see right there, leading all the way down. It took about, it could be around 700 blocks just to get up here. And the time I got those done, he took my stuff. So I didn't have time to even work on up here and get the whole fortified ends around here done. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to farm, oops, it's an oil lamp, we are going to farm iron and we're going to collect lumber. That way we can start working on that. And we got my little banner, which I, I think is pretty cool, one death mountain and all that. Pretty cool, you know, a reaper with wings and a little fight. Time I'm done, it, this will be like the classic castle. It'll have the four little uh, ends on it, and I'll probably put ballistas on the ends of each one. So if anyone did try to besiege this area, it probably wouldn't uh, end well for them. It's going to be a long, long stairway. Some platforms that are in my area, which I'll eventually stretch out a little bit longer on the platforms and then put like a gate or something. Possibly, I don't know. Right now I gotta figure that out. Because this is pretty much on the ball and on the spot. I don't really know what I'm doing. It's kind of like artists here, just letting their creative juices flow. And yeah, that, like I said, that guy pretty much took my stuff, so. Now I gotta take a long trip all the way down my steps and then all the way back up the steps just to freaking get iron and wood. So now I'm hindered a good bit on my progress. I had no lumber going on while I was gone. And what all went down was that the guild somehow, the leaders disappeared, so I decided to change the location to a spot and it'd be harder to get to and raid and more difficult and plus be more challenging, more ballsy, I guess you could say. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm being very ballsy with this. Who's that? Well, apparently, this area is becoming popular because we're getting people coming in. So far, no one's here that I know of, but chances are this is probably somebody I haven't seen before. So it's either Blade Mas Blaster, Master Blaster, or it's this other dude, Galbert. Galbert. So chances are the iron's probably been taken now. So this is not good. 
find out how things work out. He wanted one of my smelters, and I figured I'd probably get it for him. Why not? GG. Yeah. And the queen baby died. Also, so since I'm starting his house, if you guys want to join my guild, yeah, you get to let me know. Come on a server and we can work together to overthrow baby. Create the land and they make it from 20% taxes to 5% taxes. As I said, I'm not interested in the king position, so you guys would probably be able to become king on the server. It's a possibility. There's no guarantee because it's, you know, a lot of people join and are going to have to... Have to have a duel with them, and we're going to have to determine who, who, who has the right to be king. But right now, we got a sticky situation with that annoying no walls are all, all the way around the area up there on the mountain. Because anybody can probably just sneak across the, the ledges, and it's really risky. But if a noob gets up there and just decides to you know take my crest and put put his own down, I lose all that stuff up there now. So I need to get the iron and wood. First priority is going to be iron, most likely. Sir Andy is claiming the ancient throne. One second, guys. I actually started this recording and... Let me uh, check on it here in a bit. One second. Welcome back. And I guess we're going to go in, um, and uh, collect that iron and uh, wood. We were already spotted wandering around up the damn mountain, so I'm worried that he might go up to my area up there. But we need to get a tripper to get some iron. We might get a visit from uh, Urza eventually with some more supplies, but I don't know if she will be doing that or not. I'm going to have to take matters in my own hands for a little while until we start seeing the uh, results. Right now, I'm a little bit panicky right now, because I could lose it all around there, and if I lose it all, then I'm back to no different than being naked. So I'd rather try to get this done and at least get the house put walls all around it. Gods are blessing the day as well. A little bit of lag right there too.
unfortunately, nor my little adventure of uh, making Death Island, or I should say Death Castle. I fell, and I lost all my workbenches, and lost all my uh, harvesting equipment. So, I'm back to squ the square one. I did manage to collect about 61 silk. So if I can just get flex and get an armory station built up real quick, I can probably get all my tools again. But like I said, it, it all requires iron. Went from uh, zero to six point nine. Not too much we're losing, but no taxes would have been better for a little bit longer. But I desperately need the iron. Well, someone left. Now we got Rooster, which I don't know if that's Rooster from YouTube or not, but I think it's just somebody's name, most likely. Uh, Wild Ogre. Master Blaster still on. Jerkling's been here often. He's been here often. Sir Andy and Forgotten Sin have all been on the server a lot, but just three people who I don't particularly know. But like I said, I am going to be recruiting, so if you guys want to help me out, I wouldn't mind that. We'll be part of the Angels of Death, and we'll have that mountain all to ourselves. And we can overtake the throne and pretty much start building construction with that. And have this as our main base. I was lucky also that when I did fall that I kept some chests up there, so I managed to have my complete iron armor from the beginning of the game. Or, not the beginning, but, you know, somewhere in between the game. Still in the chest, so I managed to have a complete iron set armor. And a weapon, so. Didn't lose everything. I at least got a way of defending myself or defending my land. But, it's still going to be a pretty tricky situation to get this done. Very panicky as well, because we're not going to have too much time before more and more, and more people uh, eventually explore and then they find my castle before it's even completed. We will be doing a video eventually to go check out uh, Urza's place. She's been telling me about it. We'll find out uh, what she's been uh, up to and what her uh, guild mate's been up to. Cunning Runt, uh, I don't know if you guys know him or not, but he's, he was part of our other guild. And he decided to join uh, Becca's guild, so now he has like a decent amount going on. He changed tracks though, right at the last second that the war ended. Well, thank you for that. Could have changed it sooner. Let's see how much I got. 716 ores. So we're going to have to get those back and get these melted. A lot of this stuff is going to have to be done really slowly. And hopefully I'll be able to get at least a perimeter wall built up to keep intruders out. If I can do that, then I'll be in business. Because then I can just, you know, while I'm out here, actually I need to do that too. Now that I remember. Yeah, I need about five more flex to get a bed so while I'm out here I might as well grab a bed real fast or not a bed but a flax a couple bushes would be good yeah that should do we'll grab one more just for such a safekeeping there you go that should be enough to make a bed when we get back, and that way, in case I die out here, I can spawn back at the castle. I plan on using the iron and infused wood. 
which will help uh, fortify the base. And then eventually I'll start working on collecting uh, regular iron, what is it, is it iron ore? No, it's stone, collect, or stone, water, and charcoal to create slabs. And once I have the slabs, and I, need, and I just need clay, and then I can uh, start producing uh, stone blocks, which are like castle blocks. So we'll end up with fortifying it with that for the extra layer on the outside. Which should make it pretty impenetrable. I'm not going to pull my weapon out because if I pull my weapon out and they see it, they'll be like, oh, he's armed. But if they see me just running with the armor, they might try attack me. If they do, it'll be a new uh, death wish. So that last dude I let go because I didn't want to chase him around like or like a little chicken song, you know, like dun 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 I didn't want to chase him all day and keep whacking him because he kept on like hopping away and jumping on things and trying to avoid me as much as possible. So I figured the best thing to do right now is just to leave him alone and move on. Oh, the iron over here is up and the back is already used. So let's grab this too. Hopefully no one's around. Hopefully when I get back to my place, it won't be uh, taken by a noob. Last thing I need is to try to go through Death Mountain and try to go uh, backwards way how he got in and try to get it. It looks like he may have built something on top of his house. It lo looks like he's using the top of his house for his stations. But I can tell by looking at it, it's just cobblestone and wood. It's not really uh, all that tough. Maybe I can talk to uh, El uh, Urza, and she'll probably uh, get Runt to come over and destroy it. Because that, because apparently he's an expert at uh, raiding and destroying places and just demolishing them uh, like they never existed. If they do that and get rid of him, then he'll have to start clearing some loot again. And there's some guy inside that house right now, actually. I thought how. And he's not, the house bingo dude is not on, so he's building right now on it. Just with more stone blocks. Oh, it is him, though. See, the guild's still the same. Just ding a -ling. Well, I'm not going to screw with him. As far as I know, it's, if it is the same dude, he's not going to mess with me. Would be interesting if it, if it was a guild mate. Doesn't look like he noticed me yet, thanks to me sitting behind his uh, iron. Hopefully, he stays away so he doesn't get good from him. I can tell he's naked, so he's not going to be good in the fight. He jumped down now, so I shouldn't see him, hopefully, as long as he doesn't come out of his door. Did he make a barred door? Well, that's weird. That is really weird. Why would you make a barred door, but you wouldn't make the lumber and the, you know, the lumber and the iron infused wood to go around the entire place? No, a, a stone pretty much is not gonna 
it will protect you. Especially if he's using wood as a basic outline. You can see how he has it set up. Wood. You can hit that. So why would you put steel or, or with wood? But then again, he, he did say he was new to the game or whatever, but that steel gate makes me question that. They have a steel gate, or not a steel gate, but an iron gate already. Just starting out, that's pretty damn good. That means he must upgrade his workbench fully and must have uh, just jumped clear into, uh, it's probably because I gave him the smelter. He probably didn't, didn't have to waste time gathering stone to make a smelter. But I'm not trying to make war on him or anything. I want to leave Dingling Guild alone. We'll deal with Dingling later. And probably reclaim the land that rightfully belongs to the, the Death uh, Angels. Angels of Death. I think of our guild as a, our main purpose is just to punish people uh, who don't uh, follow the rules. See, look at this. Definitely gotta work on the stairs. It's gonna take forever to hop up all of them. Like, you can get in the, in the pace motion if you get right, just right. If you hit the edge of every one. But it's like really difficult and you run out of stamina really quick. shame he had to go and build there because now it has me paranoid because now if I run out of my house and come down there there's a chance I could, could get ambushed or attacked if he gets iron armor or steel then I could be in real trouble not to mention if he works in siege equipment I don't think much siege equipment is going to help you with all this. I'm sure there's a way of doing it, but I'd rather uh, hope that no one does it because I kind of want to establish a forward base with this, or at least a stable position. That's a little tricky right there. I might want to add another block to that. Once I place the stairs, it'll probably cover up most of the dirt that's hindering when you walk on it. Oh, cool. 1K uh, uh, iron. So we got 1,470 uh, iron and stuff going right now. Unfortunately, that's not good enough yet. Let's work on getting a bed made. Let's get this bed and we gives us a respawn location at the very least. In case we did die down there, we don't spawn at the damn beach. Of course, I will have to say that I'll, ha I'll have to actually encase this insignia right in the center and make a pillar as the floors go up. And I got about three, well, up, it needs to go up about six, so I need to go up about three more. That way, it's because I got to fill in this whole layer here to cover this little dirt mound here. So as I'm filling it up from this side and working my way down, I'm going to place the chests, empty them out, and place them on top of the thing as I go. So that way I can just get the entire thing coated. The door would have to get moved up for an extra staircase, but it'll work out. Then we got to work on the next big project, which is going to be even trickier. Which is expanding this uh, way over here. I'm not sure if we, we should keep down there or not. Because I don't know if I need that little 
you know, a platform down there. You could probably raise it up and you know connect it for like maybe a, a much more thicker wall. I'm not too sure. But I got these little uh, three or four block squares right there on every corner. Well, almost every corner. So that way I can just hop up on it and start building up. So this is going to take a lot of progress. Meantime, we got one smelter going with that. Let's start working on the lumber. I'm going to place the rest of my uh, lumber in this little sawmill. That'll take up the rest of the lumber and make as many lumber blocks as we can get. So we can start making more blocks. The real pain is just getting me these stairs. It'd probably be smart to start working on. Um, yeah, I should probably look at that, huh? Harvesting tools. Start working on the armory and see if I can get that made up as soon as possible. We need to get that made and, and upgraded ASAP because if we do, we, do, we, we just get the steel materials back again. There we go. 240 wood, that's pretty easy. And 25 iron, which I can make that pretty quickly. I already have 18, and it's going to take me more iron. So while I'm out gathering wood, mm -hmm. I can... Uh, Get ready for the iron, so we can get that progress in made. I don't know what it's going to take to upgrade it, so I don't remember. But we'll probably we'll just make it work somehow. And once it's upgraded, then we'll be access to steel tools at the very least. Right now, we're going to have access to iron tools. It's pretty much a shame that he had to go and build there. If he went, would have went somewhere else, like over by where the hay field was, or over by the Beginner's Guild, it would have been a lot better. But hopefully, thanks to me wearing iron armor, I'll be safe. Stone while I'm at it. I'm sure you guys always always collect berries too, because when you're out collecting berries, it saves you from having to use your food and water for for like a little while anyway. Yeah, unfortunately, he's still uh, progressing the cows by the looks of it. But look, he's bringing a weird mushroom. It honestly really looks like a mushroom out of Mario. And iron's already respawned already, that's pretty quick. Might as well collect it while we're here. I can probably get as much as I can before I uh, get off tonight. Got about three of these iron iron beam produced. It's time to take me to get all this iron and what was that? That was a weird sound. It scared the crap out of me too. Oh crap. So 
I think I sound like a mic person. I can't like hear me there from what what sound. actually claims two of these irons. I built my house up there, I got to do everything so I can collect a lot more resources. So I need to clear down here because it serves no purpose. Except for iron, I guess. And I'll be right back. 